it called the town mouse and the country mouse. Yes, it is. So what's the name again? The town mouse and the country mouse. Let me see. Yes, it's a good book. Okay, shall we start? Yeah. In among the waving grasses lies a little brown country mouse fast asleep. His name is Pippin. He dreams of crunchy seeds and juicy red strawberries. Every evening, Pippin pattered home to his little house in the leafy hedge. Then, one cold winter's day, there was a rat tat 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 at the door. Pippin! cried a voice. He was Toby Town Mouse. Come to stay. Oh, my whiskers! cried Pippin. He rushed to his pantry for his best nuts and berries. Is this all you have? asked Toby Town Mouse. In town we eat like kings. I think you better come and stay with me. I don't like that town mouse. Why? He's too snob. I like a little bit of berries. The mice scampered to the station early next morning. The train trundled in with a snort and a shriek. It's huge, grass peeping. It's like a big red beast. They wriggled inside a men's green bag and were lifted aboard. Then, chuga 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 choo choo, they were off. Pippin gazed out of the window at trees waving their branches. Then, there were no trees at all, just tall buildings that touched the sky. At last, cried Toby, sniffling the air, we're here. They run out of the station onto a busy street. Help! squeaked Pippin, dodging in and out of stamping feet. Hurry up, Pippin! This is it, said Toby, proudly pointing his paw. My house! They crept to the crack under the blue front door. Toby led Pippin down under the floor up secret stairs behind the walls, and into a splendid dining hall. The mice nibbled and gnawed and scooped cream with their paws until they were perfectly full. They woke with a start as a table shook. My dinner time, poor the kitchen cat. Mmm, juicy little mice. Run! squeaked Toby. The mice darted this way and that. Pounce, pounce, went the hungry cat. She swiped at Pippin with her pointy claws. Quick, Pippin! Into this hole! Pippin ran. The cat leaped and missed. Curses! she hissed. Oh, my whiskers! said Pippin, hoping his bro. I want to go home. This town life is too much for me. Toby took Pippin to the station and waved goodbye. Pippin gazed again at tall build as tall buildings flashed quickly past his eyes. In the starry dark, Pippin finally reached his hedge. He sniffed the cold, sweet air and smiled. Then... He snuggled down in his soft, mossy bed. This is the life for me, he said. And that was the story of Town Mouse and Country Mouse. Ooh. What? Ooh. Ooh. Was it a cool story? Ooh. Was it a cool story, dude? Ooh. What? Seriously? I did the voices. Ah, that's better. Now, we just need to do one more thing. Say goodnight, Harry.
Say good night, Harry. Good night, Harry. Boo da boo boo. Wait, don't do that. Say good night, Harry. Good night, Harry. Okay, night night, folks. Night night, Harry. Wait. Na 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 na